if you think about it, you used to think of the derivative at a point as being a number. Way back in single variable calculus, you thought of it as a, a rate or a slope, something like that. Okay, what does that have to do with what we're learning now? Ah, well, in reality, the derivative all along was a linear transformation, taking you from the rate of change of the input to the rate of change of the output. In this case, the rate of change of the input and output being related by the formula dy equals f prime at a times dx. Look, that's a linear relationship. It's multiplication by a constant. Just think of all the different ways that you have thought about derivatives over time. Think how far you've come. Look back at what you have learned. Way back at the beginning of your calculus education, you learned that the derivative is a slope of a tangent line. That was nice, that was concrete, but that's not all. You learned that it was a rate of change that was very useful in applications. You learned that the derivative was a function. The, the, the derivative of x squared was 2x. It depends on where you evaluate it. But you weren't done. You weren't done. You learned Taylor series. Then you learned that a derivative is a first order variation. And now, just recently, we have learned that the derivative is a, is a matrix. It's a matrix of partial derivatives. And now I've just told you that, no, 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 no. A derivative is really a linear transformation. See how far you've come. Derivatives are so deep. They are among the deepest and most useful of all human constructs. This is a big deal. It is worth your time. It is worth your attention. And it is not the end. We have such a long way to go before we get to the end of our journey of multivariable calculus. And there is so much more to learn about what derivatives really are.